Welcome back to the channel everyone. It's that time again where we look at the week's news in Xbox. It's been a slow week for Xbox with little news coming out of their main office. Microsoft's big push this week has been advertising their PC gaming and their cloud service. Microsoft has been reiterating that players come first and that it's not dependent on which console you're playing on but what game you're on. Encouraging people that more games than ever will be supporting cross-platform and cross-progression and that they will be releasing more titles this year than ever before on PC. They also announced that Halo Infinite will support multiplayer cross-play and cross-progression, meaning that players on both PC and Xbox will be able to play against each other and with their friends. It will also mean that it doesn't matter what console that you're playing on, your progression and purchases will follow you to whatever platform that you're on. They are working hard with the PC community to ensure that Halo offers the premier PC experience offering all the latest technologies and be able to support ultra wide, super ultra wide, triple key binds and all the latest graphical options. It will also be available via the cloud to ensure that every PC, no matter what strength it is, will be able to play along with their friends, as well as having access to over a hundred other games available on their xCloud service. It has also come to light this week during the Apple vs Epic court battle that is, is in fact Epic that is holding back Fortnite from being released on the xCloud. Epic sees Microsoft's xCloud as direct competition to their Epic Store on PC and also have stated that, that all transactions would have to go through the Microsoft service with Epic not wanting to negotiate any terms to allow Fortnite to appear on the Xbox xCloud. This week also saw the new Games with Golds being announced. Yet again we are looking at another poor show from Microsoft. You can clearly tell that they are looking more at Xbox Game Pass than they are with Games with Gold. For the last couple of months we've been getting rehashes of old games, some that came out for the 360 at the beginning of the generation. Whereas Game Pass has been receiving all the latest updates and games that are already in there are getting enhancements like 120 frames per second and graphical boosts. So this month's games with gold include Armello, a grim fairy tale board game come to life which combines deep tactic car games, a strategic tabletop game and RPG elements where you battle your way through a vast kingdom vanquishing monsters to become king or queen of Ormello. This game will be available from May the 1st till the 31st. Dungeon 3 brings you the Dungeon Builder real time strategy game. As the Dungeon Lord you control an army of orcs, succubi, vampires and more as you take down those no-gooders from the world above. May the 1st to May the 15th brings Xbox 360 classic LEGO Batman. This game will also be playable on Xbox One and the Series X and S via the backwards compatibility. Build your way through this Batman adventure, run, drive and swing, fight against the worst scum of Gotham, all as Batman, Robin and a whole host of other characters including villains. From the 16th of May to June the 15th, Tropico 4 is the last game to be announced for Xbox Games with Gold. This game will be available from May the 16th through to the 31st. You play as the president of a small island nation. You must gain support, negotiate with the superpowers and deal with everything in between which may threaten your country. Remember, don't trust anyone in the world of politics and don't forget that old saying about keeping your fr friends closer and your enemies even closer. What do you think of this month's Games With Gold? Are you as disappointed as many? And do you think Microsoft should retire this system and just concentrate on Xbox Game Pass? And finally this week, Second Extinction has been released into Xbox Game Pass into Xbox's Game Pass preview. Let's take a quick look at the trailer now. We've got this. We need to go. Three. 
ready to go. <laughs> I hate this. 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 Dose. <laughs> Incoming. Huh. Laser time. Everyone is doing marvelous, yes? Yeah! Also, still to come on May the 30th is Fable Anniversary and Fable 3. And don't forget, this is your last weeks to pick up your Xbox Game Pass perks. For Fantasy Star's April Members Pack, the Faith Weapon Charm for Apex Legends, and the Starter Pack for Rogue Company. Don't forget to stay tuned to the channel for more news from the world of Xbox and gaming in general. Also, don't forget to check out our videos for all the latest free perks that are available on Xbox Game Pass. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and hit the bell notification to be notified about all our latest releases covering everything in the Xbox world, Game Pass and gaming in general. You can catch me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash n7phoenixforce and don't forget to check out our new merchandise store. Links for both can be found below in the description. Feel free to leave us a comment on any of these stories and let us know how you feel about Xbox's latest offerings. And I'll see you all in the next video.